Greetings, I am Lita Ray. If you don't know me, I also have a YouTube channel. I've been doing YouTube for several years. Um, I'm friends with both Bruce and Joseph and have been since like 2011. Um, I live in Australia, I live in Melbourne. I've moved from Queensland. Um, I currently live on a university campus. I study interactive media and video game design, which is proving to be difficult at the moment, but alas, it is fun and will be worth it in the end. So as you probably already know from all the previous weekdays, we have a multitude of things to talk about. Now, the second thing after the introduction is gender and how we identify, etc, etc. Now, this is a bit of a weird one for me because I identify 100% male, I know I'm a male, I don't want to be a female, but I kind of feel like a third gender. Um, I relate, I always say this, but the thing I relate to most is Final Fantasy characters. Um, the male characters have uh, like very masculine male bodies, generally quite slender, like Cloud, um, and then they pretty much have a female head on top of them and like wacky hair or male hair, like it's, it's very ambiguous. Um, everything's kind of just chucked together in a very beautiful way and that's kind of how I want to look but I identify 100% as male so the third thing is a transformation now I don't really transform myself sometimes I do um, I do a bit of JH contouring in my makeup but um, it really depends I don't find myself that amazing at makeup to be honest so um, yes Makeup isn't that great, let's be real, hashtag real talk. The fourth thing is superheroes. Now, you probably already know why we're talking about superheroes because um, they kind of put on costumes or armor and go on to the world, into the world, whatever. Um, and Joseph saw the transformation thing, the superhero thing, as a metaphor for the transformations that we all undergo. Um, this is something I can talk about because I love superheroes. <laughs> um, I've always, always, always loved Jean Grey from X-Men. Um, Scarlett actually mentioned X-Men and she didn't really know what she was talking about. Well, not that she didn't know, but she claimed that she didn't know. Um, but yes, Jean Grey is my all-time favourite superhero. Um, I think the reason being is not all, not just that she has these amazing telekinetic, telepathic abilities, which I've always wanted um, and have attempted, I might say, as throughout my life. Now basically, Jean Grey has this kind of alter ego called the Dark Phoenix. The reason why I love this is because she is like, she's a very, um, timid, nice person, but she has this kind of hidden, super human, extreme, extraordinary, dark ability. And I just, I just, I love that. I relate to that. Um, I'm very kind of, I, when people meet me, they think that I'm much nicer in person. They're like, oh my God, you're so lovely. And people, I am quite a nice person, but I do have this kind of dark um, influence and I'm very, I have a very sinister sense of humour, um, so it kind of it just integrates into my personality. So I do relate to that. On top of that, I'm going to delve into the supervillains because naturally I would do that. Um, I'm just going to say Sephiroth. Obviously, Sephiroth is an amazing supervillain. Um, I have a huge katana. Sephiroth realness. But with Sephiroth, rather than his personality, it's more so his appearance. His, um, his appearance is 
basically when I'm about 30 years old he is how I want to look he is a very masculine body and he has this long flowing silver hair and he's just so I hate to say it but fierce he's so like just pulls out his sword and bam 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 like I'm the best thing ever um, kind of arrogant like I, I just love Sephiroth um, I actually have a tattoo you probably can't see it um, but you may have seen in previous clips so as well as Sephiroth is Maleficent now you may notice my purple hair basically everything I have is purple this um, oh, look we've got some Maleficent here on the Mac Venomous Villains collection Maleficent is just an amazing sorceress uh, a great being she's just amazing and she turns into this fucking huge dragon breathing out this green flame which I think is insane she's just super 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 evil um, but I think she also is a very misunderstood character uh, I don't really want to go in depth into it TBH because this video is gonna be way too long I think the way that the king and queen acted towards her you know inviting absolutely everybody except for Maleficent being this high level person like uh, in hierarchy terms I guess she was on a high level and she was completely ignored so I'd be pretty pissed off too and I would be putting spells on people as well um, you know we all got time for hex and people so yes I think that is it I have introduced myself I have talked about gender I have talked about superhero-ness I have done a transformation um, and last but not least OBG aka Friday uh, wanted to see my kitchen basically because I live on a new campus um, we have a communal kitchen and I don't have time for communal things so um, I shall show you my kitchen so this is my bathroom bathroom let's not show too much of that um, and here it is here's the cooking area <laughs> Um, OBG Friday, do you approve? Um, we've got some garlic chicken. Um, we've got a rice cooker cooking some rice. Oh, she's bubbling up. Let's give her a whirl. Anti sanitary. So that concludes Thursday. I shall see you next week. Peace.